Hi, uh, my name is Henrique Lagostera. I made a game for the Out Control Game Jam 2015. It's called Balance the Beam. Um, I have a gameplay video, but I thought it would be interesting to show how it actually works just for a bit. Um, the game is made in Unity, uh, and it uses uh, an Android and a PC in order to run properly. Um, the Android device is like the input, is the controller actually. Uh, you don't, you shouldn't be looking at it much. Um, while all the input from the mobile phone is transmitted via Wi-Fi uh, to the computer, and the computer shows all the feedback that the players need. Um, so yeah, how it basically how it works? Uh, you start the server version on the PC, and you start the app on the cell phone. Um, the, the PC shows its IP on the local network and you type it down on the Android which is also connected to the same network, should be connected to the same network and then uh, you can start the game. So before I do that I'm just gonna put it uh, my way to attach the stick to the mobile or the mobile to the stick it's actually to use one of those runner things and just uh, I cut it off and Carol my wife she made this little extra tissue here and that's where the broom is gonna be put into the broomstick then well here it is and now it's on the stick too it's good, it's kind of easy to assemble. You can make like the short, smaller version of the game. Like this is a clogger, but yeah. So let me just start the mobile version. I'm gonna run the app. Yeah, now it is. Um, here is the input field for the IP of the server, and then you just start the game. Right now it has the same number, both on the PC screen in here, so it should be okay. They're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network, so I can just start the game. And when the game starts, that's what the screen shows and that's what the mobile shows. Uh, so basically, the spin on the right is controlled by moving one of the axes of the broomstick while the other one is moved, is moved, the yellow one is moved, the left one is moved by this movement. So the starting is just like these two parallel dimensions. The earthlings are escaping earth and you have to keep a portal between these two entrances open. So in the start the portal is closed so nobody's coming here so I'm gonna align first and after I do that Okay, now the portal, the portal is open and it's properly aligned so the, so the earthlings start coming. And then what I have to do is to keep the portal, um, to keep that arrow inside the hole in order for the portal to stay open. And while the beam is white, it means that it's getting stronger, it's turned on. And when it goes dark, it means that it's turned off. So yeah, when I align, it grows back again, so I can save more people. And yeah, it's going. Right now, in the beginning, it's kind of slow, but it's a bit hard to keep track of both at the same time, so. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that happens. You should probably take your mobile, so that doesn't happen to you. Um, yeah. yeah. The sitting down version is a bit less comfortable than the one of the broomstick. I should try it. Back. Actually, like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to break my record right now. Oh, yeah, got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm being kind of fun, right? So yeah, that's basically it actually. Like well, well when the um, when the beam goes too thin and disappears, the portal gets closed and you lose the game. 
Uh, and then, now it's, that's going to happen. And when it happens, you have the game over screen, and to just to do to restart, you just put two fingers on the screen at the same time. It goes back to the first screen, and you should be able to go. That's it. I hope you like it, and I would really like to see all the different versions of the broomstick that you make. Okay. Bye bye.